this is going to be Ella's update. I haven't done an update um, for Ella in a long time, and um, she turned three yesterday, which was really bittersweet for us. Um, I can remember her being in daycare, um, starting out at nine weeks old, and looking out the playground and just thinking, "Wow, someday she'll like be running on that and playing on that." And um, it's they have like two different playgrounds, like a big playground, and a little playground, and she was on the big playground um, just this week, so. Um, time really does fly, so anyways, but and she just grew up, like, not grew up, but she grew so fast. Um, so anyways, but as far as, like, this year in, in review goes, like, she, at the beginning of last year, we, um, uh, took her to the eye doctor, and, um, she was having weight gaining issues then, and, um, they diagnosed her with failure to thrive, and so she is up to... 24 and a half pounds and she's three years old and it's 33 inches so she's about the size of a two-year-old really um, instead of three-year-old but uh, I just think she's gonna be small and that's just gonna be how she is I'm not sure how Hannah will be but we'll definitely not go through what we did with her um, last year so she gains weight really slow um, and she's just very active and she just doesn't like to sit still and eat like the way, only way we get her to eat sometimes is if we have her bee reader sitting there and um, she'll play that and then she'll like put things in her mouth as she's like playing it um, my husband's played um, some games on his ps3 and she sits there and watches those um, while she eats and um, we just do anything to like kind of get her to eat. We've gone on walks and stuff and got her to eat then. Um, and you know, recently what's worked is just putting her at the table in a booster seat and having her just eat with us. She doesn't actually eat what we eat most of the time. She'll sometimes eat like the chicken tenders that I make. Um, but that's really about it. But at daycare, she eats anything and everything. She'll eat hot dogs, corn dogs, pizza, um, taco salad, whatever they're serving that day, she eats. She saw the vegetables they have there and um, the fruit, like they have a fruit, a vegetable, they have like a meat, and they have, um, they don't have, how long do they have a dessert? They do have like snacks and stuff like that and she eats fine at daycare. So we have um, stopped giving her the periactin at daycare or during the week and she gets uh, periactin on the weekends when she's with us because she just doesn't like to eat for us and um, she'll sit there and eat with all the little kids. but. She just won't eat with us, so we do it on the weekends so that she will eat um, for us, which um, works out well, but we're hoping that one day we can just kind of wean her off and not have to have the appetite stimulator, so. Um, and potty training was um, truly, truly, excuse me, a challenge. Um, she is still not potty trained completely. She is not potty trained at night and um, she will not poop in the potty. She will only pee in the potty. And if she has to poop, she'll just like poop in the floor. She'll poop in her diaper or her pull up. She'll poop in her underwear. So, um, and what ends up happening is if she has underwear on and she poops, um, she pees herself. Um, if she doesn't actually like poop or anything. So I am, I won't take any suggestions on how to get her to poop in the potty. Um, we try to limit her fluids and things at nighttime so that she does not um, pee a lot during the night and maybe try to get her you know, more to try to night train, I guess. Because she won't actually like, get up and go to the potty. Like, she will pee herself at night. Like, she wet the bed one night because I left the um, panties on her by accident and didn't put her pull-up on. So, she's just mainly in pull-ups at nighttime and not... Um, during the day so we've only and we've had many many accidents and it's it's really frustrating <laughs> body training is a huge challenge and it's just really frustrating um, hopefully Hannah won't be as hard as what she was because Hannah will see her using it we're really hoping that um, she will at least start pooping in the potty by the time that Hannah is born about two weeks ago when we moved her from the room that I'm currently in, which is Hannah's room, we moved her over to her um, room, which was the guest room. 
she was supposed to be with Heidi that weekend. But I, I don't know if she regressed because we moved her over to the other room. But she loves that room. Like, she doesn't, she sleeps in it just fine. And she does really well in there. So, I don't know, you know, what happened. But she started pooping in the potty. And I was like, oh, well, maybe she, you know, was getting it. And um, this was her, like, one day she started being the potty. And um, we didn't, you know, do anything like the potty train your kid in, like, one week or anything like that. We just, you know, let her do it on her own. So we're trying to, <coughs> excuse me, do the same for her with the pooping in the potty. Mom. And here she comes. What's the matter? My TV. Is the TV messed up? Yeah. Can you say hi to the camera? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Just say hi. She's trying to wait, but you can't see it. All right, come here, Boogie. Can you sit in my lap for a minute? Now I'll come and fix your TV. Um, so, and she's got a lot more hair. I don't know if you guys can see, but she's got a lot more hair in the past year. What's that matter, Boogie? Um, she loves coming in here in Hannah's room and like playing with all her toys and looking at all her toys. Um, she says like, you know, full and complete sentences. I have no idea how many words she says. There's no way to really tell, but when I was at a um, parent teacher conference at daycare they said that um, they had on their sheet that by the time they're three they're supposed to say like 900 words or something like that but you know they didn't know if she really said 900 words I mean her speech and everything is just fine she um, she you know says about five to six word sentences and she does well with that so and she's very talkative loves to talk loves to play very busy. She loves to um, draw on her easel. We got our easel for Christmas and she loves drawing on that. Um, she loves sidewalk chalk, any kind of artsy thing she loves. She loves um, puppies, especially dachshunds because um, Chloe is a dachshund and she loves her. We lost her back in September. It just like nearly killed all of us because um, she missed her so much and um, we would go out there once a week and, and look for her because it was about an hour and a half from where we or an hour from where we live so um we would drive out there every weekend and look for her sometimes twice in a weekend to look for chloe and um of course you know as you can see from past videos we have found her um and she loves chloe but she she says chloe is my dog and Max is my husband. turn it um, she loves making all these little things sing in here. Sorry. So, anyways, but she um, can now, like last year, she was crawling up the steps more than she was like walking up the steps. Now she walks up the steps, she walks down the steps, but I think that's just more because she's just so tiny and um, she just didn't have long enough legs to really do it. So, um anyways but I'm trying to think of anything else we moved her to a it's not it's, it can turn into a booster seat it's the Graco nauticalis we moved her to that um about two months ago and we still have her in the five point harness because she is so tiny so we kept her in the five point harness and um i don't know when we'll actually do the seat belt but um it's a five-point harness and you do the seat belt and then after like they get big enough you can take the top off and it can be just like a regular like little boosty seat like what um <laughs> i had when i was growing up it's just like a you know the little booster seats that don't have like it's not a high back it's just a booster seat but that won't be for a really really long time because she's just really really tiny so um anyways she um got a pedicure with me from when it was my birthday and me and her got little pedicures um together so she loves me um, doing her hair she loves bows and putting her hair up and um she loves dressing up and um she loves disney disney is her big thing we went to disney world this past september and she loved that um and 
her whole room is like in princesses. She loves princesses. She loves watching DVDs. She loves puzzles. She'll do puzzles on the floor. Um, we have huge puzzles by Melissa and Doug. I think it is with those huge puzzles. Um, she likes to sing. She loves to sing songs. She loves books. She's just a little grown up little thing. What are you doing, Booger? Do you see yourself? Do you see yourself, baby? Huh? Bend down. Sit down so you can see your face. Here, sit down. Oh, you your mouth. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness, you old cute thing. So, anyways, she can um, pull her pants up and down by herself, but she just can't quite dress herself yet. Um, she'll put her pants on and her underwear, like her panties on, but she doesn't put her shirt on just yet. Um, she can take her jacket on and off, um, put her jacket on and take it off. I'm trying to think of other things. <coughs> really wasn't prepared. She's been coming in here and like bothering me. So this is like my third attempt at trying to do this video. So I think that's really about it. I will put some pictures up in a little slideshow so you guys can see um, just how much she's grown from in this this is past year. She is only like I think I think I told you guys in the beginning, 33 inches or something like that. So she's and she's in 24 month clothes. She still wears like 2T to 3T pull ups, <laughs> and she's just a tiny little thing. So. Um, what else, Ella? What else can I tell them about you? What's that? Yeah. And she gives kisses and she says, I love you, Mama. Yeah. Yeah. Lick, 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 lick. Lick, lick, lick. She has all her teeth. I'm not sure about her two-year molars. I'm still not sure about that, but if she does have them, she does. If she doesn't, I don't know. But she won't let me actually get in her mouth. We, even brush, we also brush her teeth like every night. Um, so, and then she's still on whole milk because of her weight issues and everything. So she's still on whole milk and, um, she gets like three cups a day, which our doctor doesn't care how many cups we give her because he wants to see her gaining weight. Um, we still mix instant breakfast in with her milk. Um, we give her all high calorie type foods. Um, we try to keep it as healthy as possible. She does take multivitamins too, so um, I don't like to give her a lot of junk, but that's really all she likes is like raviolis and beanie weenies and hot dogs and chicken nuggets. And um, so we try to feed her like, you know, if she's gonna have a hot dog, we'll try to feed her like some cheese and a vegetable with it as well, so. But yeah, I think that's it about her. If I think of anything else, I'll put it in the little description box. But anyways, thanks for watching.